Glory to Jesus, hallelujah, awesome God is. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, oh, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, oh, the great I am. Hallelujah, 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 glory to Jesus, awesome God is. You are welcome to another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Today is another awesome moment in His presence. God bless you, welcome, welcome, welcome. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life. May the name of the Lord be exalted in your life. In the name of Jesus, you are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Awesome wonder, mighty ruler, king of the air, I bow before your throne. We bow there and worship Yahweh. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Brother colleagues, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Please, as you join me this evening, kindly share the video and the name of the Lord be praised in your life. And the name of the Lord be exalted in your life. You are welcome to another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Today is another awesome moment in his presence. I weren't able to join us last week because of my moving around. Even now, I'll be traveling in the next one hour. But I said, no, I weren't alive last week. I must come alive, even if it's 30 minutes. Hallelujah. Because the name of the Lord must be praised. His word must be preached. Glory glory to God. You are welcome. God bless you. Please, as you join me, kindly share the video. And the name of the Lord be praised in your life, and his name alone be exalted in your life. Glory to God. I'm not going to take so long today. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your name. We adore your holy name, Abba Father, for you alone is worthy to be praised. You are the omnipotent God. You are the omniscience God. You are the ancient of days, the consuming fire. You are the God that neither sleep nor slumber. Lord, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Lord, here we are in your presence. Abba, Father, have mercy upon our shortcomings, knowing and unknowingly. Lord, either by our thoughts or by our talks or by our doings, we cry for mercy. Is it because of the sins of the spirit? Is it because of the sins of the flesh? Is it because of the sins of hatred of heart, immorality, gossiping, backbiting, unforgiveness? Lord, we cry for mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Let your word that will come out of my mouth this evening, Abba Father. Let it bring divine healing, divine breakthrough, divine restoration, divine deliverance, divine settlement. And your name alone will be exalted and your name alone will be lifted up high. Above every other name. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we are prayed. Amen. You are welcome to another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. I want to use this medium to say a big, a big thank you to everyone that celebrated my birthday with me. I'm sorry that I've not been able to reply some people's comments. You know how it is on Facebook. After replying some comment, they will place some kind of uh, some kind of restriction. So that is why I've not been able to reply some comment. But I just want to use this medium before I go to the message direct to say thank you, everyone. God bless you. I love you all. Thank you all for. For celebrating my birthday with me, thank you for the messages, for your words, uh, your prayers. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today's topic says, always remember. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Always remember. There are so many things I want you to remember this evening. Glory to God in the highest. You know, as Christians, sometimes we forget some certain things. Glory to God. But these are the things that I want you to remember this that I'm going to uh, analyze to you for you to really know that you are unique. For you to really know that you are not just ordinary. For you to really acknowledge the fact that you are not alone. 
Even if the world have rejected you, even if people have abandoned you, even if uh, people have isolated you, today's message is for you to always remember that you are not alone. Kale Bradosha. So this message is for you to remember that you are not alone. You are the apple of God's eyes. According to his word in Psalm 17 verse 18. You are, you know what, what it means to be the apple of someone's eyes. When you are the apple of God's eyes, that means you are very, very important. Glory to God in the highest. Before we go on, please, I'd like us to open our Bible. I'm just going to read, uh, uh, it's a long reading, but I'm just going to pick one or two verses from that place. We are going to open our Bible to Ezekiel 37. I want you to I want to bring out something from that Ezekiel 37. Glory to God. We all know the story of the dry bone. <clears throat> Let me read. Ezekiel chapter 37. I'm going to read from verse 1, maybe up to verse 3. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Hallelujah which was full of bones let's read verse 2 and caused me to pass by them and ran the back and behold they were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry hallelujah to jesus christ if you look at this story this is a story of a situation that uh, in fact, there is no hope. A situation, a hopeless situation. A situation where, uh, in fact, it, there is, it has been concluded. These people, they are gone, buried, dead. In fact, there is no hope. They are, they are, their vision have been, have ended. Their mission on earth have ended. The reason why they were created have ended. In fact, there was no hope. According to uh, Prophet Ezekiel, he said the bones were very dried. Hallelujah. Then verse 3, I'm going to read up to verse 3, then I'll stop. Verse 3 says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can this bone live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Glory to God in the highest. If you look at this story, with the way that prophet Ezekiel answered, he answered in a way that to him there was no hope. To him, it was over for those people that, 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 that those bones came out from their flesh. To him, it's something that he cannot handle. To him, it's something that he, he has, in, in fact, there is nothing he can do about it. That is the situation some people have found themselves today. That is what some people are thinking right now. Oh, it's over. Oh, there is nothing I can do about this situation. Oh, this business has re refused to move. Oh, this uh, the ministry is not moving the way it's supposed to be. Oh, uh, time is ticking. Ah, uh, I have not been, they have not been able to, to, to get pregnant. Oh, time is ticking. Ah, they have not been able to achieve that thing they really want to achieve. But I came to submit to you this evening that you must acknowledge the fact that you are not alone. I came to submit to you this evening that you must always remember that God is always with you. Even at that very, in that situation that you have found yourself, that you think is over. But I came out to remind you today that he said when you go through the water, the water will not drown you. When you go through the fire, the fire will not burn you. Because what he said is with you. He said he will be with you always, even till the end of time. So why are you thinking that you are alone? So this message is to remind you, for you to remember that you are not alone. To always have that part of you, to always have it in your mind, to always have it, to always remember that no matter what you are going through in life, that no matter the situation that you have found yourself right now, you are not alone. Always remember that the Lord is with you. If you look at the story where I took from in Ezekiel, uh, that, uh, where I took from the Bible in Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven, it was obvious that the, it was it was a hopeless situation. But God showed them. The same dry bone that Ezekiel, prophet Ezekiel, saw that it was a hopeless situation. The same dry bones that uh, even you or, or me, if, if you know, when, once someone is buried, to us it is over. Do you know that that same dry bone became mighty armies? That same dry bone was the same bone that, that was, was the same uh, bones that brought out great armies. 
What am I trying to make you understand this evening is that you should acknowledge the fact that you are not alone. Always remember this, that God is with you. Always remember that that situation that you are going through right now is nothing but a stepping stone to your greatness. Always remember that no matter what you are going through right now, God have not abandoned you. People may abandon you. Your friends may abandon you. Even relatives can even abandon you. People that you believe that they will be there for you can even abandon you. But I want you to remember this always, that God is with you. One with God is majority. Those bones that were dried, nobody could do anything about it. Those bones that were dried, they were hopeless. Those bones that were dry, they were bones that there was nothing any human being can do about it. But when God showed up, they became great army. That is what I want. That is one thing I want you to rem always remember today: that God is going to show up in your life, and that situation that looks like there is no way out is going to there is going to be a way out. There is something that God says in His Word. In I think in Second uh, Corinthians or First Corinthians, He said. No temptation that will come that you are going through right now that no man has not been through. And if the Bible even says, it said, even before that temptation will come, God has already made a way of escape. Why many people do not see the way of escape is because they always allow that problem to, to overshadow them because their mindset has focused on that problem. No, in every disappointment, there is an appointment. In every disappointment, there is an appointment. The Bible makes us to understand in Deuteronomy. It said he has made you. I want you to always remember the words I'm going to tell you this evening. Remember, he said you will be the head and not the tail. Remember, he said you will be first among your equals. Remember, he said you, you will be a lender and not a borrower. Remember, the word of God said, even while you were, we were yet sinner, Jesus Christ came to die for you and I. Remember, the word of God makes us to understand. He said we can do all things through Christ that strengthens strengthen us. Remember that he said that no matter the situation, according to the word of God in, in Psalm 23, he said, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. What does that mean? You have to remember this, that God is your shepherd and you will never lack. Don't let the situation that you are going through now give you another picture of yourself. Don't let the condition that you are going through now make you conclude about your life. Don't let the, the position that you have found yourself now make you think is over. Remember the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years when Jesus showed up that her, that her, her condition changed. Remember the, 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 the child of that a widow that died that they were about to bury when Jesus was on his way. Remember, it was a hopeless situation for that woman. She lost her husband. She lost her, the only child that she had also died. It was, it, the situation was a hopeless situation, but Jesus showed up. Remember what the word of God makes us to understand. Peter told all night. But when Jesus showed up, even the net began to break. Remember, always remember that you are not alone. No matter the situation that you are going through right now, God is right there with you. If you look at the story when, when uh, 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 Peter was walking on the, on the sea, when he was drowning, he cried out, Jesus, help me. The Bible said Jesus stretched his hand. The Bible did not say Jesus walked up to him. The Bible said Jesus stretched his hand. That means Jesus was right there with him. All you need to do is to call on him. I preached a message some time ago. That is why I always say go to my YouTube. Some time ago I preached a message with, by the mercy and grace of God with the topic. Cry out. Don't die in silence. Always remember. Today's topic says remember. On boldness in Christ Jesus. The topic says remember. When it looks as if it's over, remember what God told you. When it looks as if there is no way out, remember the vision God gave to you. Listen, for God to give you a vision is because he has already inculcated in you all the capacity, the potentials that you need. When it looks like it's over, remember what God said. When it looks like as if there is no help coming from anywhere, remember what God told you. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. 
I said, I'm not going to spend so much time today because many of us, we have known, we, we are on all night, during all night, last night. Some of us have not even uh, closed our eyes to sleep. But I decided to come out this evening to encourage you. No matter what you are going through right now in life, always remember what God said. Always remember what God told you about yourself. You cannot tell me that God has not revealed something about you to you. Yes, he's not a wicked God. He's a merciful God. He's a faithful God. It's only we human beings that are not faithful to him. There is always a vision, a revelation, a dream that God has revealed to you about yourself. So no matter the situation that you are going through in life right now, always remember that thing that God showed you. Always remember who he told you that you are going to be in future. Always remember what he said in his word about you. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he come to the understanding of men. What he, Elohim, has in stock for you that loved him. Many of us always forget what God has said about us. Many of us always forget what God has told us about ourselves. Many of us always forget what God has revealed to us. Many of us always forget what God said in his word. What he told us about ourselves in his word. Why? Because we focus so much on the situation that we, are, that we are going through. That Satan has organized to cause a kind of distraction. Today's topic on boldness in Christ Jesus says, always remember. No matter what you are going through, always remember what God says. What he said. What he told you. What he said in his word. The revelation he gave to you, the vision that he gave to you, whether in your ministry, whether in your calling, whether in your business, whether in your career, whether in your education, whether in your marriage, whether in, about your marital settlement, whether about having uh, uh, children, having the fruit of the womb, whether about prosperity, no matter what it is, so this message say, always remember what he says. Is this sickness? Remember what God says in Isaiah chapter 55, 53 verse 5. He said, by his stripes ye are him. Is it poverty? Is it lack of finance? Remember what he said in Deuteronomy 28. He said, you will be a lender, not a borrower. Remember what Jesus, the Bible said. He said, though Jesus was, was rich, but he became poor, so that through his poverty you will become rich. Remember what he said. He said he, he said he said it's not his will that you should suffer. So don't focus on that situation that Satan is dangling around you just to make you weak, just to make you worse cold when it comes to the things of God. Rather, when Satan throw that arrow, remember what God said. If the if you if if, if that sickness if the, if the if doctor told you ah this sickness is unto death, remember he said. What God said in his word. He said, you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. No matter what anybody has said about you, one thing you must know is that they are just saying it from what they think, what they feel, the physical aspect. But what, what matters and what stands is what God says. And that is what you must always remember. What is that thing that God has said about you? Is what you must always remember. Is it the fruit of the womb? He said in his word, there shall be no barren. Always remember it. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Always remember what God has said, not what people are saying or what people have said. What you have to always remember is what God has said, what God is saying, and what God has said in his word. That is what you must allow to envelop you. That is what you must allow to take over you. Not what people are saying. Not the condition that, that is looking at you right now. Remember the Bible said, if you have little faith, you will tell that mountain, be that removed. And the Bible said, and it shall be removed. Always remember what God said. Always remember what God told you. Always remember that vision that he gives you, gave to you. Always remember the reason, the, the purpose why he brought you to this world, why he created you. He said in his word, he said, before you entered your mother's womb, I knew thee. Always remember what God has said and not the condition you have found yourself. 
and not what people are saying and not what somebody has said and not what people are doing to you. But rather, always remember what God has said about you. That is why you must have passion for the word of God. Because the word of God is life. The word of God is truth. The word of God is sharper than two edges sword. That is why sometimes, uh, let me give an example about my, sometimes when something is going, I will just say, Lord, what are you saying? Sometimes the Holy Spirit will just give me a Bible verse. And once I open the Bible and I read that place, I'm like, wow, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is why you must always have passion for the word of God. You must be, you must make sure that your prayer life is, is waxing strong, not waxing cold. You must make sure that your love for God is stronger than any other situation that, than that situation that you have found yourself. Always remember what God has said and what God is saying. Glory to God in the highest. I'm just going, I just decided to come out this evening. I'll be leaving. I'm trapped. That was, that was why I said it from the beginning of today's message. I was not able to be live because of traveling. Even now, in less than one hour, I'm leaving. But I said, let me just come out here to share this little message that the Holy Spirit have dropped in my spirit with you. He said, I should tell you to always remember what God has said. He said, I should tell you to always remember who God has created you to be. He said, I should tell you that you are the apple of God's eyes. He said, I should tell you that you should always remember that you are a royal priesthood, a choosing generation. This, he said, I should tell you to always remember that he's, he will always be with you even till the end of the time. He said, I should tell you to always remember that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and that has it come to the understanding of me what the Lord has in stock for you that love him. He said, I should tell you that you should always remember that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He said, I should tell you that you, all, you should always remember that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You, are, you will be healed. That means no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, the condition, the, the sickness right now, that healing have already been bestowed upon you. It's just the manifestation you are waiting for. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Always remember what God has said. Always remember that you are not alone. No matter how many people have rejected you, no matter how many people, no matter how you feel right now, you may feel dejected, feel rejected, feel isolated, feel it's over. Look at where we read in Ezekiel 37. They were dry bones. But the Bible said, and God asked Ezekiel, can these bones can it come alive? Can they live? Ezekiel, with his physical eyes, with his physical um, uh, uh, understanding, it was a hopeless situation. But when God showed up, the Bible said bones joined to its bones. Bones begin to join to its bone. Calibra dosha. The Bible said, and the wind came, and the flesh covered the bones. And the Bible said, and the Lord breaks break inside the bone. The bones that were dry became great army. What is that situation that you have found yourself right now that you think is over? That you think is hopeless? If dry bones can come alive, if dry bones can become great army, then you should acknowledge the fact that no matter what you are going through right now, remember, he's with you. Remember. He will bring you out. The Bible says, as the, as the, as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord is about his people. That is the truth. Always remember this. Remember. Like we are quoted in Isaiah. He said, when you pass through the water, the water will not drown you. When you pass through the fire, the fire will not burn you. Remember what happened to Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They were thrown inside a funnel of fire. But nothing happened, happened to them because why? The fourth man showed up because God was with them. Remember what happened to Daniel when they threw him into the lion's den. To them it was over. To them they have gotten what they what they what they what they expected that would happen to him. But he came out alive. Why? Because God showed up. What does that mean? Always remember you are not alone. 
God bless you. God, may the name of the Lord be praised in your life. May his name alone be exalted in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are just going to pray one, one prayer point. But before we pray this prayer point, if you know you have not given your life to Christ, pray this prayer with me because that is the foundation you can stand on. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I repent of my sin. With my heart, I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sake. And with my mouth, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. You are welcome to the body of Christ. You are born again. Glory to God. The Bible says, heaven rejoice when a soul is won into the kingdom of God. That is for you to know how important you are. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. And for each and every one, that your love for Christ has was cool. This message is, is basically for you to always remember. Uh, there is something I said on Facebook Live some time ago. If you think that the situation you have found yourself now that is, there is no way out. Remember the ones that you've been through and you came out of it. Remember the ones that you have been through. Right from when you were small. Remember what you have been through and you came out of it. You did not end up in it. So why do you think the one you are going through now is going to end up? You are going, your enemy, you are going to end up with it. No. Always remember that God loves you. The Bible says even while we are yet sinners, Jesus Christ, God still sent his only begotten son to come and die for you and I. That is the highest love that anyone can ever get. So always remember that God will suit you. If your love for Christ has was good, I pray for you. No matter what you are going through, always love God. I pray for strength. I pray for divine intervention. That situation, that thing that is making you fret, that thing that, have, that is making you to was, making your Christianity to was good. that thing that is making your prayer life to was good, I pray for God's intervention. I pray for fresh anointing, fresh fire, rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Begin to honor him. Say, Lord, we thank you for this word, this little exhortation that you have heard this evening. Say, Lord, we bless your holy name. I bless and lift your name. Oh, you blessed Savior. You are worthy of our praise. There is none like you. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine. Holy and worthy, beautiful you are. Say, my father, my fighter, my father, my maker, as I begin to pray. Lord, help me for I cannot help myself. Lord, help me cry to God for help. That situation that is making you to forget that God is with you. Say, Lord, intervene. Makados can deliver us all. Mention it. You know it. The Holy Spirit right here. The power of God is right here. It's going to intervene in that situation. No matter what you are going through right now, he said, remember that he's with you. Begin to say, Lord, help me. That situation that looks like my Zion that can never be moved. Begin to say, Lord, mention the name. Mention it. Mention the name. You know it. Mention the name. That situation. That thing that is making you to wash cold when it comes to the things of God. That thing that is beginning to make you think God have abandoned you. That thing that is affecting you right now that is making you to wet your pillow in the night. That thing that is making you to fret. That thing that is making you to scared. That thing that is making you to, to, to sometimes in the night you, you'll be afraid to sleep. You know it. That thing. Mention it right now. God is right here to answer your prayer. Makados ke de lebra gazondo gala bagazo. Malege don shi de de bons kanala belaga don shada. Cry to God for help this evening. Malege zondo brekata shata. He said, call upon me in the times of trouble and I will answer you. Malege zondo brekata shata lege zondo. I katon shata libra gadon shada lege zondo. Peter cried, say Jesus help and Jesus stretch forth his hands. Begin to say Lord, help me. That situation, you know, you mention the name of that thing. Say, Lord, help me. Mention it and begin to say, Lord, remember, this is what you said in your word. Lord, remember, is this sickness? Say, Lord, remember what you said in your word. In Isaiah 53, verse 5, that by your stress I am healed. Is it then no matter the situation? Is it Chibiri? Say, Lord, remember your word that you said that there shall be no barren in the land. Is it prosperity? Begin to say, Say, Lord, remember, I remember what you said in your word that I shall I shall be a lender, not a borrower. Begin to 
cry to God this evening. Ma kando skende libra gazondo is here to answer you. Ma lebo so Lord help me for I cannot help myself. Ma le gazondo brakata shigada gazondo er gadon shigada gadon brakata shakata la gadon skende libra gazondo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is done and it is settled. Our God is a faithful God. He's a merciful God. He's a mighty God. He said in Exodus 14, 14, He said that I will fight your battle and you will hold your peace. Always remember, no matter the battle you are going through right now, remember he said in, what he said in Exodus 14, 14, that he will fight your battle and you will hold your peace. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me. Always remember, boldness in Christ Jesus is every Saturday, 7 p.m. Spanish European time and 6 p.m. UK time and 6 p.m. Nigeria time, 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. South Africa and Kenya time and 1 p.m. New York time. Always remember, when you are bold in Christ Jesus, you will always remember what he has said about you. When you are bold in Christ Jesus, that vision that the Lord has given to you will come to manifestation. When you are bold in Christ Jesus, no situation can pull you down. Because that boldness in Christ Jesus will give you the ability, the potential, the strength and the energy to press on. Because why? Because Jesus Christ is your Lord. He has paid the price. And that is one thing you must always acknowledge. God bless you. Thank each and every one for joining me this evening. I can see you, woman of God, um, Evangelist Atrata. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Sister Judith, God bless you. Thank you. I love you. Uh, my darling sister, Natasha Pola, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Please, if I didn't mention your name, please don't be offended. God knows your name. And it's God that will definitely bless you. Pastor Isaac Ibonga, all the way from Kenya. God bless you. Thank you for joining this evening. Uh, please, if I didn't mention your name, uh, Danny Copper, God bless you. Thank you for joining, man of God. I celebrate you, Danny Lichi. God bless you, uh, uh Prophet O.T. Michael. God bless you, uh, Dr. A. James. Thank you, sir, for joining. Uh, my darling queen sister, Ella Oshodi, thank you for joining, brother Collins. Thank you for joining. Please, if I didn't mention your name, God knows your name. Him alone is the one that is going to bless you. Please, if you have not shared this video, kindly share this video and the name of the Lord be praised in your life. I love you all till I come your way next week, Saturday. I said it from the beginning. I'm just going to be here for a few minutes because I'm, I have to move immediately. But I said I was not on life last week, Saturday because of the same traveling. And I, I must come live this evening by the mercy and grace of God to deliver what the Holy Spirit has placed in my spirit. I love you all till I come your way again next week Saturday. God loves you. Always remember, he loves you. Always remember, he cares for you. Even when nobody cares, remember, he cares about you. Remember, he is the offer and omega, the beginning and the end. He is the only one that can stand with you. I celebrate you, man of God, Restoration Prayer Ministry. I celebrate you. Thank you, sir, for joining. Till I come your way again next week Saturday. God loves you. Always remember that. God bless you. Shalom.